Pick up some clothes. For Satan, which means you must come. <laughs> you know what? I'd love to. Frankly, I don't want to spend any more time in this house than I have to. Great. Uh, see you in an hour or so? Yeah, I'll see you there. Oh, well, Dorian, I couldn't help overhearing you on the phone just now. I bet you couldn't. <laughs> Sounded as if you're planning to move out. No, I'm, I'm just going to stay a few nights at Cassie's, that's all. Why? Why not? Excuse me, I'm going to get some clothes. Wait, please. I cannot help but be concerned that if you go to Cassie, you'll spend all your time nursing your grievances against me. Hmm. And why would I do that? Why would I have any grievances against you? You've always been so good to us. That sarcasm hurts, and I don't deserve it. I have always done everything I could to keep this family together. I did everything I could for your mother. Yes, you did, and then some. Ever since we came back from California, you have been behaving as if somehow I was to blame for everything that's gone wrong, as if I was responsible for your mother's condition. Because you are. And you know damn well you are. You know what? I shouldn't have said that. I like to forget that. Wait a minute, young lady. You don't make an accusation like that, leave it hanging in the air, and then just walk off. I took it back. It doesn't work that way. You have given me a, a glimpse of the resentment that's inside your heart, and you're not giving me the chance to defend myself. We have got to get past all of this unfounded anger. We're not going to be able to do that unless we get everything out in the open. So why is it that you think that I am responsible for your mother's condition? I don't. I don't. This is a sick situation. It's making all of us sick. I couldn't agree with you more. It's making us sick with, with worry and with sadness. You think I don't understand, I do. Oh, I wish I could understand. Carrie, you're miserable because of your mother's condition, because we have to take her back to California and put her in the institution again. That broke your heart. It broke mine, too. But, honey, I swear to you, I understand now that no matter what I do, I cannot make up for the mothering, which Melinda cannot give you. No, I'm, I'm sorry. She was ready to give plenty. She was looking forward to that, to all the years that we had missed, to make up for all the things that we haven't done. Okay, we were there. We were there. When I saw her, we were connected. She had so much to tell me. But she couldn't, because the minute she got in this house, she started getting sick again. And I know that was very painful for you, honey. It, it, it was painful for all of us. But you see, Melinda isn't the only one who loves you. We are a family. We all love you. We are all connected. Help us. Especially God help my mother. Save us all from your family feeling. Your mother has been sick ever since she was a child. Yes, there have been times when she seemed as if she was coping, but somehow, inevitably, she always succumbed. And don't forget, we took her out of a safe, a safe, protected environment. We brought her here and we subjected her to all this emotional pain. Like what? Like, like me? No, she was subjected to you. She succumbed to you, Dorian, because you didn't give her her medication. That's cruel. Yeah, that's cruel. That's cruel. You did it to my mother, and don't you tell me that you didn't. Don't try to cover up. And don't con me into thinking it was some kind of rebellion on her part. She was dependent on those drugs, and you knew it. You took those capsules, and you substituted sugar for the real stuff inside of them, and you made her feel crazier and crazier. Why would I do such a terrible thing? Maybe to shut her up? To stop her disgusting the bath? You did it when she was here, and you did it all the way back to California. I don't know, maybe you thought if, if we all thought she was crazy enough, we all wouldn't believe her. Mel? 